If you would like to see the full reaction to this video, become a donor on our Patreon. Hey Angels, welcome back. Today we're going to do a reaction to Sam Mangabet, and this is his cover of If You're Not The One by Daniel Bedingfield. And From the title, I, like, I know this song. Like, I know I know in my heart mm -hmm. that I know this song, and as soon as we start, like, listening to it, I'm going to recognize it, but... And it's the usual, I don't yeah, know it. Yeah, like, I don't know it right now, but I'm going to know it, hopefully. Oh, will you? Hopefully. Oh, right? will you? It's like... <laughs> Right. It might not. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a go. We are totally behind on this, mm -hmm. but we we love Sam and love taking everything out. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a go. If you're not the one, then why does my soul feel glad to today? Don't know what it is. Yes, I know it. Then why does my hand fit yours? Oh, so sweet. If you want to burn my car. The Canada shirt. Yes, I know this. I know this song. I have this and I have an interesting story about this song. <laughs> I never know what the future brings, but I know you are here with me now. Oh, he is always like his voice makes the song so much sweeter. Yeah. Yes, like I know this song. I do know this song. And I'm just like so surprised, but at the same time, I'm just like I love it. Oh, I need his voice to sing this song all the time. Yeah, like, and this is, this is, this, the story that I have to share about this. If you're not me, then why does this distance make as my wife? Oh, yeah, I know. far away, but I know that this much like this is bringing memories back. The one I share my life with, and I wish that you could be the one I die with. Oh, I know, I know, girl, I know. I hope I love you all my life. Takes my breath away and I breathe you into my He's born too. Yeah, yeah, like I mean yeah, he is, he is, he is. He really is born for this. I love you and though I can't be with you tonight. Angelina! Like I'm having like I, I can't even I have to wait till the end. Justice and then a hundred times more. It, that you know was what, amazing. You know what remind like his falsetto reminds me of. It's like, <laughs> it's like a sirens calling. I know, you right? Know, it's like, it's like, like you can help. You have know, to go you're to going to the death. Yeah. You know you're to going the beautiful to beautiful one. <laughs> Odysseus, you're going to your death. Okay. <laughs> it's like you but can't control yourself. You cannot. You, just you can't. Keep going. You can't. That's what yeah. just happens with Sam. Yeah. All right. Start. Okay. It. So the story why I know this song is because like back in the day, like when I was in high school, when okay. we still had dial-up internet, 
Okay. <laughs> Those were fine. I still had dial up internet, like, probably, like, I, I think it was probably, like, 16 or 17 years old. I was super into Buffy. Okay, super into Buffy. That was and a somebody lie. had posted this video of her and Spike together with, with this song. song, and I spent an hour and a half downloading <laughs> this video, and I watched it a thousand <laughs> times. And the I is real. Not, the ship is real. Okay, <laughs> but like, and that's what I was envisioning was just like that video. It all suddenly just came back. Since like my mom's old Gateway 2000 computer. Okay? Now you know, like, you know. I know what I'm filming. You're gonna. I'm go gonna go. Watch. I'm gonna go look at it. I'm gonna try and find <laughs> this video. But it was a fan made video mm -hmm. of somebody who had put scenes of Buffy and Spike together mm -hmm. to this song, and I worshipped it. And I was just this like, is I, hard. This is this is everything. <laughs> and you know, 16, 17 year old Alicia was just like, yes, the fandom has started. <laughs> you know, and so, and that, and that's what it was. And that, like hearing this song, I have legitimately not heard this song that's since the, since that. That's it's the been thing. fifteen years. That's the thing. It's amazing how you know Sam uh, finds these songs <laughs> from so long ago and makes it like to bring back I mean, his memories. I mean, that's exactly stuff. what it was. Is like this song is from that far ago. And I was just like, I had not heard this song. I had not even thought about this song. I had not thought about that video until he starts singing it. And I was just like, all the memories are coming back and it's hitting me with the And that's the thing, though. Like, you know, like his, <laughs> his voice it matches so well for these, like, heartfelt <laughs> songs. Like, that right? it just like, it's just like, I've heard this yeah, song. But you like, make it sound just... Like it, it just it's something me, new, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah it's Especially like, if you haven't heard it in so long, yeah, too, yeah. You know? And so I just like I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't right now. Like I'm like fangirling for another fandom because of this. Like that's right hilarious. now, I'm just like Spike and so, Buffy. That, that, that's that's what you call member berries. Yeah, you know your, yeah. your, your, your memories coming back. And uh, you remember Buffy? Oh my you God, I was so fun. into that too. <laughs> Like, I was never a Buffy Angel fan. I wasn't. And, like, the people who watch that are just now, like, they're absolutely denouncing me. They're just like, you don't even know what you're talking about. I do know what Everybody I'm has about. their own chips. I have watched every episode of every season of Buffy and Angel. I'm 100% Buffy and Spike. I have always been that way. I will always be that way because James Marsters is just, like... He he is life. He is worth <laughs> living for, you know. And so <laughs> that is a little like I just I, I don't know that like nostalgia. Like I was sitting there like hearing like the teenager. Yeah, I was yeah. hearing the AOL dial up in my head and like how long it took to download that video and how many times I watched it. And then my mom coming across it on the computer and being like, "What the f is this?" Like, <laughs> you is know, this? like awesome. yeah. That is yeah. awesome. It's a great times that, you know, I think it's wonderful. Yeah. You know, just like <laughs> as everybody else probably thinks about themselves, but I think it's wonderful yeah. when we were actually born because we got yeah, to experience, like we experience a little bit of everything. We experienced a life without internet and mm -hmm. then we experienced the actual like internet coming to us mm -hmm. like being available to the public and like being able to access stuff that we didn't in the cell phone we didn't even know was you know and then and then the building of the cell phones like my first cell phone was a freaking nokia oh yeah it was a nokia it was nokia's one of the, were the yeah. best no they were the best yeah they were legitimately yeah the best we had phone. like the candlestick yeah because they had like the best service it was like a crap yeah. but it was oh, so yeah, but that's how it is. It's like we have little Nokias. Like my first cell phone was a Nokia. Which I didn't, okay. I didn't get my first cell phone until I was like maybe 20 years old. I didn't get my first cell phone until I was 17. And, and it, the only reason I got my cell phone mm -hmm. was because I was learning to drive. Mm -hmm. Like I had my license at that point. Mm -hmm. Like I'd gone through getting my permit and learning how to drive and getting my license. And I literally, the only time I used that phone mm -hmm. until I was like 18 years old was when I drove somewhere and I had to call home and tell my mom e that I made it. Phone home. Like, yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> it was ET phoning home. I was calling my mom, letting her know that I had made it to that location. 
And then if I left that location, I had to call her, oh, yeah. let her know that I was leaving, and then mm -hmm. call her when I. I remember there. the times when you didn't even had a cell phone, and you go to the grocery store with a list or whatever, and then you're like, "Oh, I wonder if I should I get this or should I, I get this? Best, this yeah. wasn't there. How do I do you it? Know, well, yeah. I'm gonna just go home um, and, and then and see, then just fight it out, and then go back you again. Know, get all of the bad stuff, and then your parents are like, "No, no, no!" And then well, see, like, like in Russia, whenever I was at that age and mm -hmm. stuff, we weren't. Really Really, like commuting by cars who we were by walking so if I didn't yeah. get something at the grocery store I had to go back physically you know walk, you had to walk all the way there, there. All yeah that. yeah and so like but it's just like we lived in that generation mm -hmm. where like we lived before cell phones mm -hmm. we lived before all of this and then now like my seven-year-old knows how to work an iPhone mm -hmm. you know and, and it's kind of like in that point where like I'm actually considering in the the far future, I say far future, like in the next couple years, mm -hmm. getting her a prepaid phone, like out of my old phone. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm planning on turning my old iPhone into a prepaid, prepaid phone so that she can like let me know. Like I'm, I'm considering she's going to Col the Columbus Zoo, yeah. you know, and we're going on that trip, but I'm not going to physically be with her. Mm -hmm. So I thought about like turning my old phone into a prepaid phone so that she can call me if she needs me, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's kind of like that kind mm -hmm. of thing is yeah. like my child is only seven years old and I'm already thinking <laughs> about like being able to keep into communication with her, yeah, you know? And, and it's like, what did parents do before? this you know because I wasn't a parent when we didn't have cell phones so yeah, you, you just, just kind of like we're just like it's like throw it's your like, kid out there and yeah because like I remember well in Russia it was different than it was here like I had to go to school like some school was like my like main school was really close but whenever I went to my 10th grade I mm -hmm. had to drive by two different buses and everything else and I had like extra curriculum classes before mm -hmm. school or after school and stuff like that so I legit like I had to take my English class lessons in a different school so I sometimes like use their rotary phone uh, yeah to call home. home it's like hey dad can, can you come and get me or should I take the bus and dad's like well I don't have gas I'm like okay I'll take the uh, bus yeah home, and we'll know? see like my parents like I live so close to the school that mm -hmm. it was either I walked home or bus. like, or my mom called me mm -hmm. like, because the buses, that's, that's one of the things about living in the area that we live in. Public transportation is not a thing that no. exists here. Like we have a bus, one single bus that runs in our city. And well, so, they have several buses, but the thing is, each of them do go do, different do, directions. Yeah, some and, some run and they only once an hour. The other one runs literally once in two well, hours. Well, they only run in they, and that's the thing is, they only run in Ashland. Yeah, they not in Ashland. Russell. We don't have a bus system yeah. at all. Yeah, they run in like, Ashland. Yeah, it's the like, Ashland it's, bus it's, system. It's the Ashland bus system, and so we have like literally the city that I live in. We don't. We yeah. don't have a bus system. Well, your city so, is kind of small. It, it's too it. small. Like you can walk wherever you need to. Yeah. You know. And so that was the thing. Is like I lived literally like a quarter of a mile. What you've seen my parents' house yeah. in comparison to the high school. I lived a quarter of a mile away from mm -hmm. from home. So or I, I went to school there. Yeah. So like it wasn't a big deal. But my mom was always super paranoid because there were no sidewalks. Yeah, and there was true. nowhere That's to walk. That's a big problem. Yeah, and so I would be walking on the road, and then there's a possibility of getting hit by a car and all that kind of stuff. So, like, but that was the thing, is I can remember after band practice being over, because I would have to stay after for band practice at least yeah. two to three nights a week. After band practice being over, like, calling my mom, being like, can you come pick me up? Yeah. You know, and stuff like that. And, like... How did parents live, though? Like, well, I now think they did I a great had, job. Yeah, they did a great job. They did a good job. But it, now it's like, now that I'm a parent and I have access to all of this technology, it's yeah. like, I feel like I should take advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, and, we are, no matter what, we are relying on it. As in, like, we found the pluses about it yeah. to make things easier and yeah. helpful. Yeah, know? as a parent. Like, you're yeah. just like, oh, I just need to do this for my kid, you know? But then, like, I don't know. If I get Brooklyn a cell phone, it's going to be legitimately, like, I'm only ever going to give it to her whenever I need her, yeah. like, to be able to call I was me. thinking about doing that for my child. For, yeah. Like, the communication skills and mm -hmm. stuff for her to, like, type things out. Rather, because she's not very vocal, verbally, so yeah. but she is decent when she comes to writing and typing. Now, now see, so. Brooklyn, like, she can, she can read, but she cannot, like... 
like actually type something out, like type a message out. Mm -hmm. Like she can read messages Mm -hmm. and she can type out a rudimentary Mm -hmm. message, but it's like, it's, it's like, that's how it is. When you're a kid, you, you spell things phonetically. You, you don't think about the actual spelling of the word. So she'll spell out a word and I'm just like, what is that? <laughs> you know? What is this scary I'm like, thing? what is this word? And she's just like, oh, this is what it is. And so when I see it and she says it to me, I, I see then, it oh, as phonetically. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I get it. But you have to like, go if on I'm level sitting there, child. Yeah, but if I'm sitting there trying to decipher this message, I'm not going to be able to do My it. child sending an SOS like, message. Yes, and I'm like, she's in danger. I need to find her right now, <laughs> you know? But anyway, we, we got off topic. This was an amazing cover. He did such a great job. Like, this this song is kind of dear to my heart and, like, my 16-year-old Buffy fangirl, you know? Well, no, like, I'm just pretty much kind of, like, hearing the song, I would say mostly, most likely for the first time. <laughs> if I have heard it and if that might have been around the time or something, mm-hmm. my English was, like, pretty much not present, so me not yeah. understand anything back then. So, but hearing it, uh, seeing it, performing just, it, it just yeah. sounds so beautiful and paying attention to every word and lyric to this mm-hmm. is just, oh, my oh, gosh, he melts, so great. melting. And his falsetto, his falsetto was absolutely out of this world, ridiculous, wonderful. Oh, my God, I can't He's even. amazing. He's yeah. so amazing. Yeah. Looking forward for more. So, thank you so much. It's great suggestion. If you have any more, please leave in comments below. That will subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you guys don't touch anything about that. And we'll see you next time. Bye. If you want to leave this town, baby, I'm lost. I'm fading now. Baby, I'm lost. I'm fading now. Tell me if you want to go sometime. Yeah, we could be alone tonight. Baby, I'm